A topic of conversation that's causing a lot of buzz right now in the internet is the out of the blue deal that Destiny made with Chinese publisher NetEase. We learned that the studio would be accepting a $100 million investment from the publisher, with the intent being to self-publish games, according to Bungie CEO Pete Parsons, who also talked about how they want to decide the business model of their games and how their worlds go into the market moving forward. Understandably, all this talk about Bungie shifting towards self-published games has caused some concerns among Destiny fans who are wondering what this means for the future of the series moving forward. Concerns were only heightened when this 4chan post began circulating, which talked about how Bungie was in talks with Activision to sell the Destiny IP later this year, how they were negotiating to shorten the 10-year contractual obligation to only cover Destiny 2's life cycle, and how the development of Destiny 3 is intended to be transferred to one of Activision's internal studios, specifically mentioning Vicarious Visions, who has been helping out with Destiny since as far back as December 2016. There was also mention of upcoming DLCs, citing how there would be two big DLCs released in Fall 2018 and Fall 2019, and two small DLCs released in Spring and Summer 2019. Now, my thoughts on this alleged leak from my last video was that while none of what's presented here is an utterly impossible scenario, I caution that it's still a 4chan leak and should therefore be taken with a huge grain of salt. Well, turns out that the alleged 4chan leaks were absolutely false, and where the fake leaker slipped up was in the mentioning of how the next big DLC for Destiny 2 would be called Summoning of the Nine, which has been completely debunked as of yesterday, June 4th, 2018, when it was revealed that the DLC would actually be called Forsaken. On top of that, Eric Osborne, marketing director over at Bungie, took to Twitter to publish a post that simply reads, Summoning of the Nope. So, just like that, this leak that had some people worried came crumbling down like a house of cards. That's not to say that this completely rules out the prospect of a Bungie Activision split, but we know now that the specifics mentioned in this 4chan thread are absolutely fake. There is still speculation out there that a Bungie Activision breakup may not be too far away though, specifically by Jason Schreier, who has done a number of investigative reports on the troubled development of both Destiny games. In case you aren't familiar with Jason's work, the only reason we know things like how both games were rebooted have halfway through development before being rushed to release is because of the insider knowledge Jason managed to acquire in his investigations. Suffice to say that Jason has more insight and knowledge into the behind the scenes going ons over at Bungie than most do, so his words do carry significant weight. However, speculation is just that, speculation. Jason is not saying that he knows for sure that a Bungie Activision breakup is imminent. He's simply saying that he thinks it's a possibility that this could happen sooner than we think. On the other end of the spectrum, Bungie took to their official blog to assuage concerns, talking about how the NetEase partnership won't impact Destiny players, how Destiny is an experience that will grow for many years, and how their commitment to Destiny hasn't diminished in light of this announcement. The thing is though, Bungie has assured us of a lot of things over the past few years, and well, we all know how all that's panned out. Given Bungie's long and extensive history of boilerplate bullshit PR statements, for many it's become increasingly difficult to take reassurances from them seriously as of late. But hey, who knows, maybe they'll find a way to both stay fully committed to the Destiny IP while working on brand new self-published IPs on the side. Assuming this is indeed the case, my main concern is that with Bungie being stretched thin enough as it is with how far behind they are with Destiny 2, juggling both Destiny and brand new projects will result in both ventures suffering. Sure, NetEase's $100 million investment will allow Bungie to hire more manpower who can help manage and develop both Destiny and self-published titles in parallel. But given Bungie's well-known history of behind-the-scenes mismanagement that resulted in Destiny 1 and 2's messy launches, given that their house isn't really fully in order yet, I'm not encouraged by the prospect of an already disorganized studio taking steps to expand and grow even bigger. 
They say that their commitment to Destiny wasn't changed by the announcement, but the thing is, when you work on two different things at once, your commitment is by nature split into and spread thinner, despite your intentions. And considering how much Bungie has struggled when they were only committed to one IP, I have to wonder if they can handle juggling Destiny 2 DLCs, Destiny 3, and new IPs without all of these projects being negatively impacted, if this won't cause further disarray within the studio. I guess only time will tell if Bungie will keep it together and be able to multitask so many large-scale ventures at once. But given all that's happened, there is understandable apprehension in the air. This is all, of course, assuming Bungie isn't contemplating selling the Destiny IP to Activision after some time has passed to focus their attention on new IPs, a scenario that hasn't been fully ruled out yet. All we can do for now is wait and see what happens, and I suspect that it will be a few years before we even see or hear about Bungie's new IP. Until then, though, Bungie does have a lot to prove with Destiny 2, its patches, content updates, DLCs, and if they intend to stick around with the inevitable launch of Destiny 3. If they can't nail Destiny 3's launch and regain lost trust, if they repeat Destiny 1 and 2's mistakes, I can't really see the series moving much further. I can't say there will be a Destiny 4. Let's hope it doesn't come to that though, as the Destiny series has too much conceptual potential to be bogged down by questionable decisions and poor execution. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to help maintain this channel, consider supporting me on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, Stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out. <laughs>